Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video also we will do some more uh, practice on JavaScript questions. Okay, so I mean general question is what is higher order function in JavaScript, right? A function which is accepting another function as an argument and returning another function. So like this function is accepting some argument like a, b and some callback function and it is returning a callback. Okay, this is my callback function and it, it is returning a plus b. Right, these are called higher order functions, right, where, where a function is accepting another function as an argument or returning another function. Okay, another important aspect we are going to talk about is consider, we already know what all array dot prototype method contains. It contains like map is there, filter is there, reduce is there, right, slice, splice, all these methods. Let's try to implement array dot map in our own function like function map okay we are going to define it in our own way it is taking two arguments which one is the array and map callback okay so what we are going to do here is we'll just uh, check first if array is there how we can do is array dot is array is a function which will return if array is actually an array or not okay but then we have to check for Array dot length. Then we have to check the type of callback should also be function because this is how we are going to uh, write a function. Our own definition of array dot map. Okay, now what we are doing is if this is true, then we simply what we'll do is we we'll return empty array. We are done here. Otherwise, if this is not true, then what we will do is we will actually go into the else block and have a else block or simply because we have already returned let result equal to empty array and then we have to run a loop onto the array elements let i is 0, i is less than array dot length i plus plus and here we will do the magic so we have the result as an empty array result dot push and we will actually call this function map callback and we will just pass only the required arguments to this which is array of i the first index and index and array so array dot map takes three, three arguments right the value of array then the index which is i and the array itself okay and we can do is return result right now you can define it so map callback will do whatever you want it to do so this is a custom function you have created how can i call this map and here i created a const array which is having these values okay for array and this is my callback function callback function is giving me these values which is item index and array now whatever you wanted to do you can return that like uh, i wanted to return item plus one so this is my custom implementation i have written for the map function similarly you can do this for the filter in the filter function what we will do is we are going to return only based on some condition right so here if we just try to do this we can just also convert this into the filter in the filter we will just get true or false so map doesn't filter out the elements it is just manipulating them but filter is little different in filter what we do is we will check some condition so here it, if this code is array dot length here we are just checking and here based on condition what it is returning if it is returning true or false if it is returning true then only we are pushing that element to the final result array this is the only change and here we can write this same as filter but here we need to return true and false so if item is uh, like greater than zero i mean that is simple true otherwise it will return false so that is explicit right it will return true or false 
so here we have created filter it is we are passing array and this is the callback function you can also use arrow functions okay so this is the filter implementation we have done similarly you can actually customize other implementations also like reduce and all now uh, okay this is clear now we'll talk about other aspects is arguments object this is popular in javascript sometimes what happen is we wrote this function function hello and we are calling function hello with some values so how can i capture all these values inside this function i can actually do console.log arguments this is representing all the arguments which you have passed in the function even without declaring it right so these arguments will be an array and here you can iterate on to the arguments and can print all the values which you are passing so argument object is a collection of parameter values passed in a function it is just an array like object because it has a length property and you can iterate on it right so this is how you can actually call it you can actually iterate on it argument object exist uh, on simple function except uh, the arrow functions so if you think about like okay i create an arrow functions and there also i can get then you will get an error so these are little bit tricky questions here you can't do it arguments because argument is not defined okay uh, how can we create an object without a prototype so it is simple like uh, with prototype how we do it using object dot create how we create an object is simply of the constants this is also extending the prototype of capital o object const y if you do it with the object dot create that there also you are actually extending the capital object but if you just try to talk about object dot create it is capital o object null these are called pure functions right pure objects because it is not extending anything from the prototype okay so what else we can talk about is the my script like es6 features which are introduced so es6 are the popular concepts are like destructuring rest rest parameter spread operator classes arrow functions and all these concepts generators promises object destructuring and all okay you should be aware about all this es6 i'm not going to talk about it is going to be lengthy okay so we can you can talk about classes destructuring uh, generators iterators classes the module pattern es6 module patterns okay so what lat and const i hope now you are familiar with lat lat and const and var var is providing a function level scope lat is providing only block level scope const is making the value constant reference and value constant but uh, you can still change the properties of a reference object okay so arrow functions uh, are the another one like we can simply talk about it this is how we can write simple arrow functions in es6 okay and there are many advantages of using arrow functions because they are providing the lexical this binding so whereas sometimes you are not ex you are not able to access this object so just replace there with the arrow object so in the arrow of when you are using arrow function in that case inside the body of arrow function it is able to access the immediate outer scope okay sometimes what happens is we have to explicitly bind this using dot bind or in this way in that case you can just simply replace that code with the arrow function okay what are classes and all i hope now you are familiar with this because earlier we were writing uh, the constructors now we are writing classes so in es5 we were doing something like this employee is a function so this is how we do the inheritance with the employee function like uh, here we are setting the properties and calling the 
parent class function function dot call right so this is this is indirectly the same way of doing uh, inheritance in the classes if we are doing it with the classes then we will create a person class and then employee class and then employee will be extending the person and we are going to use a super keyword to call the parent class constructor same thing we are we can do same example we can write in es6 using simply using classes here this uh, employee will extend person and here we are using super keyword same with the functions we are also using person dot call and it is we are assigning these parameters first first thing last thing is and job title and year started is being assigned in the employee function same concept only that we have just a syntactic sugar we are using that same in the classes okay rest all our es6 functions uh, you should be aware about object destructuring and all like this is a simple object we have how you can destructure and get all the values from this object so there are many possible ways simply you can do it in the one single line right first name last name employee all these values will be accessible you don't need to write five lines of code for this to get each and every parameter from it okay simply we have set and map also set is actually captures only non duplicate values weak set weak map these are actually the concepts of es6 and talking about the promises and all we have already covered the promises async await and callback in in depth so get into more about interview questions and all i'm already creating a separate playlist where i'm talking about data structure algorithm and some javascript specific interview questions like top 100 top 150 if you if you go through these questions which i'm still preparing about data structure algorithm and some deep down concepts about javascript then it will be very easy to crack any kind of javascript interview questions either it is a coding round or either it is just a verbal uh, question answer round or online quiz any kind of questions you will be able to uh, clear okay so stay tuned i will be publishing more videos on to this separate playlist where i'm talking about how you can crack a javascript job